because now we're no longer dependent off the other two. Once you understand that, and you know how to work with energy and start creating it inside of yourself through this reaction right here, you can become independent upon this whole system. Again, completely different system. Okay? Kabbalah, uh, ascension, chakra systems, opening up the body, uh, theory of everything, string theory, medicine, cure, vibration. It's all the exact same thing. Okay. This is just a cool little geometry twist of perception. <coughs> really, really neat. What's it mean? It's just more support. More fun. It's just more support. Because remember, everything has to... Remember our potential, our big circle, has to include everybody and everything. People say we only use 10% of our brain. But we also become aware of things that aren't perfect. Things that are perfect flow so smoothly we don't notice them. Because they're so fast. Which means that everything that we do, we're only 10% wrong. Because we only use 10% of our brain. That's all it has to kick in. The rest of it's automated. If we're all 90% right, we're only actually 10% wrong. So everybody's information and systems just got to have a little bit added to it. And a little bit cut off. Just a slight little change or a slight little shift of perception or to integrate them all together. You guys will like this one. Uh, there's an atom, okay? We're going to add energy to it. Eventually, that atom, the electrons, as we add energy into the core of it, protons and neutrons are still in. Neutron. It's an important one. Should we get into it now? When we're not aware of something in our life, we can't get, take control of it. Once we become aware of it and go through the process of learning it and understanding it, and then, of course, how to utilize it, then we reach this type. Okay? Both the exact same. Zero. Everything in between, one to nine. Neutron we can control, but only a neutron from up there. We can't control a neutron from down here. Once we can control a neutron, we can control a, positive, a proton and an electron. So with an atom, because there's a neutron in the center, along with the proton, Remember how I called this top one atomic consciousness? Out of the nine levels of development in the consciousness system. I called this one up here atomic consciousness. 
We're going to get into the singularity point. But we'll do it in a little bit, okay? We're going to put a little have a positive and negative and neutron in there. And we'll tie it in with the singularity point later. I'll put it there so we don't forget. So here's an atom. We apply energy to this neutron, which strengthens the proton, it's a stronger charge, it drives the electrons outward, making the uh, shell of the atom basically expand a little bit. Again, this is that same thing as the capstone, pressurized system. At energy, it pressurizes and it collapses. And when it collapses, it comes to here. So. <coughs> what happens? I'm going to draw it again. More simple this time. Resting state, charge state, collapse state, which is smaller, back to its resting state. Well, so we got this little ball right here. And we start adding energy to it. Eventually, the amount of energy that we're supplying is not enough to withstand pressure that's built inside, and it collapses. But it gets only to this point where it, can, it can't go any smaller, because there's so much pressure inside there, it bounces. Bounce. As soon as it bounces, it sends out this little wave. Okay. We call that wave a photon. We measure it, we call it, uh, we call it a little packet of energy or a photon. If we don't measure it, we call it a, a light wave. Uh, this is how uh, light is created from the uh, light bulbs. So once we apply electricity into it, we supply extra energy, expands, collapse, bounce, shoots out light waves. Okay. Um, it's, it's how atoms work, but of course they use the same pyramid law because that is a law of nature. A lot of energy exchange. Now here's what's really neat. That's only the start of it. <laughs> because it sends out this little wave, we're going to go into a little more of computer language and we're going to use um, master and slave. So we have a master atom which has a set program for what it wants to create, what it wants to become or build. Programming, okay? Memory systems tied in with consciousness. So all these other atoms of all different sizes and shapes, all those different types of atoms. This one says, hey, I'm only looking for a certain one. So what it does is this thing energy thing, amplifies its own energy, collapses, sends out a little shock wave. Hits this one and it bounces back. It can now measure size, speed, direction. All the things that we can measure with radar which means it's got a measurement tool built into it. Okay. It bounces off this one says, no, 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 that's not the one we're looking for. Bad feedback. That's like you going, me going, hey, come over here, we gotta lift this desk. Oh, no, wait a minute, I just busted my back, I'm not lifting a thing. Okay, you're not lifting a thing. Okay, you can't, you can't do this job. This one hits, this one. And we get another little bounce back. And they say, Hey, yeah, I'm in. Let's build it. Let's do it. Let's come together and make it happen. So, this one sets up the little pyramid inside of itself. And instead of doing an all around uh, signal or, or radar check 